Hi guys, in this video, we will see how to construct a parabola using general method in AutoCAD 2007 software. The question will be something like this, to construct a parabola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is 50 mm. If you observe here, there is no information regarding eccentricity because eccentricity for the parabola is equal to 1. E is equal to 1. So let us start drawing it in the AutoCAD. This is your AutoCAD 2007 software. So whenever you open it, we will go for checking of units. So that is in millimeters. Okay, good. Then okay. Then take the limits. Give the limits actually. Limits. It last to the first limit that is zero comma zero. Enter and uh, the end one is five hundred comma five hundred. Done. Now press Z enter A enter. Zooming all. <coughs> now draw a straight line by using line command like this. It should be straight. So I'm pressing R the button on. So approximately you can take something like hundred mm. So I'm taking hundred mm here. It's not necessary that you should take 100 mm only. I am taking 100 mm. This is our directrix. Now, from the midpoint of this directrix, I am drawing a straight line, which is of length given in the question. It is 50 mm, right? So 50 mm. So I will draw a 50 mm length here. 50 mm. So this is my 50 mm length. So let me annotate this. Empty. By using empty command, I am using it here. Some 5 size I will give. This one is. F. So what is the point obtained here is. F point. I'll bold it so that it will be visible for us. Then okay. So this corner point is our F point. I'll even show the point also here. So go to the format point style and this one I'm selecting it. So okay. Then PO enter and this is my focus point. Let me give the name for this end point. This is let me say this is C. This is C. So now C and F. Now since we are talking about a parabola, eccentricity is equal to one, that is E is equal to one. Therefore, we have to divide CF into two parts because or, or we can say simply the V point the V point will be exactly at the center exactly at the center that is between C and F therefore if you write it here this is V point so C V and F now start a select a line and draw from V to F and select this line and rotate it rotate it with 90 degrees with V as option. So 90 degrees I am rotating it. Now draw a straight line like this and that should be extended beyond it. Or simply we can go by drawing a 45 degrees line at C. Reason is when you are talking about C V and V uh, if you say this point is uh, some X some X then C X and C V both are of equal length. Therefore, this becomes a right angle isosceles triangle, which automatically means that the angle is 45 degrees. So, we need not even worry. This is just 45 degrees. So, we can draw a straight line 45 degrees simply and we can start working also. But uh, for uh, hyperbola and uh, ellipse also, we want to use the same process. So, that is the reason why I am drawing as per the problem solely. So, now we will draw a straight line from V. Supposingly, some 100 mm I am drawing like this. Now, at this point, at this end point, I will draw a straight line like this. I will draw a straight line like this up to some extent such that whatever this extended CX line will be joining I am thinking until that point I am drawing the line like this. Now once after I have drawn this I will use the extend option here extend option and select this line and press enter and then select this line so that this CX will be extended up to some point. So now this is extended now later on we can select the this F point and give some color from the uh, properties toolbar then use division command d i v enter and select this line in the v whatever i have line drawn that one i am selecting and i am dividing into some six seven parts whatever it is i'm um, okay say six parts i'm dividing so these are the six parts which i have drawn now select this line and use uh, copy command and this has base point i'm copying it each and every location like this whatever the points obtained here those all points you can give the names like this is one this is 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. In this way, you can give names. So, this is your first point, this is your second point, this is your third point, this is number 4, this is number 5, this is number 6. Now, what are the unnecessary lines which are there beyond this extended line? Those can be removed. So, so I am selecting all these and I am using trim command and I am selecting all these so that those are all trimmed. So, from 1, whatever the line is extended, that can be written as 1 dash. 1, 1 dash is the first line. So, 2, this becomes 2 dash. 2 dash. 
similarly this is 3 therefore this becomes 3 dash 3 dash and 4 this becomes 4 dash similarly 5 5 dash and last one 6 6 dash it's not necessary that you should go with the 6 only optimum conditions I am taking 6 like that now as per rules what we should do is that if you are drawing it in a conventional method with f as center 1 1 dash as radius draw an arc on the 1 1 dash but instead of going that way if there is an easy method here we can select a circle here draw a circle from 1 to 1 dash leave it like this and select the circle and change the center of that circle from 1 to f now you can see that there is an intersection point here so that intersection point i'll select it by using po enter this is the intersection point you can see this is i'm selecting so once this is finished you can delete this again similarly do it for the next points also 2 2 dash select this straight line from there to the f i'm changing it then here also we are getting some intersection point here so po enter this one can be selected correctly on the 2 2 dash line Simil then delete this go to the circle command again 3 3 dash select this circle and change it from there to the f now you can see the intersection point here you can select it here similarly this is the fourth line fourth point now you need not even delete also what we can do you can change the center from there to 4 from here to 4 to 4 dash i am increasing the length then again i am changing the center from there to f now you can see the intersection point here so i am selecting again the circle i am changing the center from f to 5 and then i am increasing the radius of the circle from 5 to 5 dash then i am changing the center from there to f then intersection point i am selecting it at this point similarly at the last point that is 6 6 dash 6 and 6 dash like this and from there to here i am changing the center then intersection point on 6 6 dash is this so now this circle can be removed the points are a little visible a bigger smaller size therefore what you can do is go to the format point style just press ok automatically all the lines will become all the points will become of same size now whatever the points are obtained here those all points i am selecting it and those all points i will select them <coughs> and i'll just mirror image them in the opposite side so that the other half of the parabola is also finished so i'm selected all the points the point names can be given as p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 now i'm using mirror command with c v as mirror axis and press enter so all the points are obtained now just simply i'll use the polyline command or spline command i'm using polyline command in this case so polyline command join all these points along with v because v is the base point for us so along with v we'll select and once all these points are selected you can press escape and come out of the command then use the poly edit command that is pe enter and select the straight line and use the fit option so that it is fit perfectly then escape we can give like uh, select this and give some line weight for it i'm giving something like this for it to be visible we can we should press lwt in this way so this is the diagram once this is finished you can give the information in the bottom part like this some uh, we can give some the information like general method construction of parabola copy and uh, i'm pasting it here then whatever it is there it is an 8.5 length so i'm changing it to some 5 then okay so this is your construction of parabola method i've written it here in this way and uh, e value is not even necessary because parabola is equal to 1 so not necessary to show but in some cases they might ask you to draw a tangent for this some say some point of from 20 mm from the focus or 30 mm from the focus in that way if they give any information select a circle we supposingly some 50 mm they are saying so with 50 mm i'm drawing a radius so here we have an intersection point and here we have an intersection point so we can select any one of the intersection point so i'm selecting this point here now the question is like we have to draw from this point i want to draw the uh, like um, tangent and normal to the curve or in some cases they might not even give you the information they'll directly give you select any point and draw tangent and so we can select any point like this something like this point i'm selecting or somewhere here i'm selecting it. so this is my point for uh, you to understand it i'm changing its color so this is my new point which i want to draw so now what you'll do is that from that point uh, draw a line up to focus and from there to this other uh, the same point you draw another line so i am drawing two lines basically now select one line and use rotate option with focus point as center and rotate it with 90 degrees oh my god luckily it has come 90 degrees so you'll get confused i'll do one thing i'll keep it somewhere else something like this point i'll do 
then you will not get confused. So, so this is the point. Select this. this uh, you can see the yellow point is the point which is given. So now from this point we will do one thing. We will draw a straight line from that point to the focus point and again we will draw a straight line from there to the this point. So basically I have drawn two lines there and select one line and use rotate option with focus point as a uh, base point. I am rotating it with 90 degrees like this. Now after rotating it you can see that there is an intersection point of this directrix along with this straight line whatever I have drawn. So there might be some places where this is not intersected. We can use extend command then and we can make it intersection. Or else now in this case it is intersected directly. So now whatever the point is intersected, from that point if I join to the point which I have selected in the base, that becomes the tangent. Anything perpendicular to this tangent becomes uh, uh, the normal. So after drawing one straight line, I will draw another straight line here like this. So basically I have drawn two straight lines here. So I am selecting one straight line and using rotate command at this point with 90 degrees I will rotate so that this particular thing will be normal and this particular thing will be tangent. For that also I am giving some line weight something like this and I am pressing LWT. So now you can see this is your parabola, this is your normal and this is your tangent. So this is how you finish the construction of parabola by using general method. So you can write information like E is equal to 1 or the question. Uh, the annotation or the dimension should be given like from C from C point to F point should be given except that nothing is necessary because nothing is given to you in the question. So this is how we finish it. Uh, if you want to save it then we will go to the layout one. It will be something like this. So we can if you want to save it for printing purposes then we go to the plot then you can check ISO A4 is there here ISO A4 ISO A4 297 by 210 then apply to layout then just cancel and see if it is okay or not. It is not okay to me. So I am just moving it a little bit down and the left side and like this. I am selecting it and uh, cropping it like this so that it fits in the dotted lines here. Some of the part is lost so I am just resuming it or else you can press Z and re enter so that it zooms perfectly. After that if you want you can change the point size also so go to the format point style. I am changing it to some 3. Okay. So therefore the points are reduced. Okay, everything looks fine. Then go for file, plot. In this you can have the option of PDF to drawing to PDF.pc3. Then if I press OK, then it will ask where to save. When the desktop I am saving, like I can change the name here. Then I'm using save. So it is saved. You can see it here. This can be used for printing purposes. I have made it like a PDF uh, print. I mean A4 size printing size. If you want, you can even change the different different sizes also which are available to you. Or else you can also save it like file save and uh, it will be saved like .dwg file which can be used for uh, editing anything in the AutoCAD version. So .dwg file also can be saved. Here you can see if I am saving it like this it is saved like .dwg. It is a AutoCAD drawing file and this is a PDF file. Both the things are allowed. So this is for uh, editing other times also but this is only for uh, just printing purposes. You can't edit it once again. So that is about your construction of parabola by using general method in AutoCAD 2007 version. Bye.